All right, everybody, welcome back to Last Day on Earth Survival. Today, as you can see, we are quite kitted out. Our chopper over here is quite kitted out as well. I think you guys can do the math and put one and two together. Today, we're going for it, all right? We're tossing it. We're going for the Hail Mary. I think I got enough guns thanks to you guys and the help last episode doing a lot of that research some of you guys were able to find out the info that i needed i appreciate that because i seriously looked on the wiki and stuff and i could not find it apparently i'm just blind as a bat but some of you guys came up clutch shotguns get about 40 uses a pop which means 120 damage a pop okay not too bad two mini guns i don't know how much damage that'll do they do one a pop they probably have a good amount of shots maybe like 100 to 200 each pistols can do damage as well bringing some of those and these things can do about, uh, they do two damage a pop, right? So they should be able, or to the big one, which is the target of today. So we're going to go over there. We're going to hope for the best. They get about 60 uses from what some people were saying, the those things. So that should be about 120 damage as well. So all in all, we got two full uh, VSSs, pretty much four full shotguns. That should be a lot of damage, plus the miniguns, plus some pistols. And really worst case, we could technically use melee weapons like uh, the sledgehammer and the saw blade mace, because those do actually two damage to the big one. So today is the day that we hopefully take down the big one. I want to go for it. We're going for it. I really hope that this goes well, because if it doesn't, that's going to suck for us. We got tons of medkits. Tons of everything that's gonna be necessary. We're landing right in this corner. Where are you at, buddy boy? Where are you at, buddy? Oh, no, that's just a... I just want to take him out right now. There's our buddy. Ah! Oh, he got hit in on us. Okay, so... He gets about 17 damage to us in SWAT armor. The VSS just takes forever to get the shots off. So what I'm probably gonna have to do is... No, I don't, I don't care about the crate. Oh, the crate is right there. Uh, why don't we start with the shotguns? Use those things up a little but I think those will be able to do the most damage really quickly. We have to be ready to really sustain some damage and only use the first aid kit if needed because I kind of want to use my other types of heals first. Uh, we should always be popping into the same spot here. Yeah, so hopefully he pops up. Hopefully no one else comes to attack us. There you are, buddy. Ah! Okay, there you go. So see, we're able to get like, for every one time he hits us, we were able to get a pretty solid volley in on him. And every time we back out, Right, nothing too bad should go on. So what I actually want to do here is for every time we back out, we are gonna we are getting kind of hurt a little bit. So what I think will be a good strategy here is actually to bring some food with us, like a stack of carrots or something. And that way, I only have to use the first aid kits if we're in like really quick trouble, right? So I don't have to use them like uh, if we're not in trouble. Does that kind of make sense? So like here, carrots. We can use the carrots to heal outside because we're not. We don't have to worry. Like no rush, man. No rush. All is good. Uh, so why don't we use up the miniguns first on him? Honestly, let's see how the miniguns go. Put that thing on auto, and uh, we can heal up as needed. And hopefully the miniguns can do a good amount of damage to him. I think that is the uh, best course of action here. <laughs> Minigun rain! Let's unleash ourselves, shall we? Let's, uh, where you at, buddy boy? Where you at, buddy boy? There we go. Okay. Oh, I get- come on, spin it up! Spin her back up! Oh no, I'm using these first aid kits way too early. Okay, keep shooting it. Keep shooting it. Ow. Okay, let's back up a little bit. We already did like 80 damage to him. This is pretty good. We're already almost 10% of the way there. Although our minigun's almost already pretty broken. To be fair though, to be fair, the minigun was pretty close to being broken in the first place, but... Yeah, I used up some of those first aid kits way too early because I kind of just like panicked. So I should not be doing that. That is my bad. We still have a ton of first aid kits though. And we still have a ton of carrots and stuff. The carrots are definitely going to be kind of like use case number one. But our SWAT armor is still looking pretty good. It was pretty high durability when we started this. So the miniguns should make things a little bit easier. And hopefully the shotguns make things easier as well. We just got to be comfortable with taking a little bit of punishment. I feel like every time he damages me, I just like panic. So I'm like, oh my god, I'm about to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Ah! So hopefully when he gets close enough, we could just enable auto attack, and there we go. Hey, buddy boy! All right, heal up a little bit. Let's dip. That thing broke. I don't, I don't, I do not want to switch weapons in the middle of combat. So I think we got him below 900. 
So this is a good start. It's gonna be a struggle. Let me know if there's a better way of doing this as well, but I'm trying to- Ah! Voice crack. I'm trying to show you guys the best way, best weapons to use, the best things to do. Bringing a lot of these is good, and actually if you ever bought any crates, it is a good idea to uh, potentially leave a lot of these things in your inbox, because anytime that you leave this area, if we travel anywhere else, we will- uh, it'll be bad. It'll, it'll be very bad. We won't be able to come back, or if we do, he'll be back to full health. But if we stay here, he stays very- uh, just as hurt as he was, so that's actually pretty good for us. Depending on the situation, let's go over to minigun number two. And you know what else we can do? We can actually start spinning up the minigun before he gets to us. I totally forgot about that. He does some of the carrots, but hot diggity damn. This is going to be a high intensity scenario. And hopefully tomorrow we can celebrate with the 1.6 updates. They said it's coming either Wednesday or Thursday. That's the game plan. That's what I want to hear. I'm going to start spinning this thing up as soon as like, there we go. Plenty of damage. Heal up a little bit. Do some more. Okay. Let's run. Let's run. I don't know why, I just felt like panicking a little bit there. But you can see, we already got him down to like 850. About 15% of the way. So things are going pretty good. But yeah, I've been waiting a little bit today. I wanted to see if they released any new news. There were being some server problems earlier today, which is kind of weird. But, uh, yeah, now the server problems are done. It was weird. It's like right as I was about to start making this video, the server started being poopy, and I'm like, what the hell is going on? But uh, the servers are trying to protect the big one. Nothing can protect the big one, and we're after him. And, oh, we are after him right now. So I think maybe the best strategy of doing this would be doing, like, a full volley. Do you guys know what I mean by volley? It's kind of just, like, doing a full, uh, uh, until, like, the thing overheats, because the minigun can't overheat now. Like, waiting till it overheats, and we want to be as close to out of bounds as possible. I forgot about that. That's actually a very good idea for uh, what we want to do. Get over here, big one! How you doing, buddy Jimbo? Okay, heal up. I probably should have- I- I- ah. Uh, there's too many things going on in my head right now, man. This is like such a high-intensity scenario. I- I kind of like accidentally used the medkit there. I shouldn't have. We should have got out. And done it there. But you can see every volley is up about a fourth of the minigun. So we should get a couple more volleys in. We should get them to below 800. Maybe even around 700. Which will be really nice. But yeah, that's also another nifty trick. If you guys are trying to come here to kill the big one. Is to kind of do this like borderline out of bounds type thing. Where you just try to go right by the edge of out of bounds. So you can flee super quickly. Especially if you have like this right here. And honestly, I kind of want to have the mini bike be in the way. So we can maybe like... I don't even know. But as soon as we're about to get hurt... There we go. Look at that. Look at that. You can flee. And then, we just gotta do this. So this might be a bit annoying just because of loading screens, but... It will save you from having to, like, absolutely use your first aid kits. And instead, it lets us, no panic scenario, use up those things. And we should still have about two volleys worth of, uh... Worth of our thing to use. And I know there are other enemies here. Oh, also, I can't wait to loot this place once we're done, because supposedly it has good loot. I think there's, like, loot boxes here. I don't know. On the map, it says it has good loot. So hopefully that does not disappoint me. But we can walk here right by the kind of out of edge bounds. Get a good volley in on him. Okay, I just, I just decided to heal up that time. I was... I don't know. I felt like my armor was about to break. He was doing some solid damage. And I did actually want to kind of take this opportunity to ask you guys an opinion for today's question of the day. Because as you, as you know, I love hearing your guys' feedback on stuff and your suggestions. Like I said, if I'm doing anything like not as efficiently as possible, taking out the big one, let me and the rest of our community know here, all right? Because we're trying to maximize our last day on Earth struggle, right? And what better way than by doing that? So, oh my god, he runs straight over our chopper. Okay. Let's dip out of there. But my question that I had for you guys, right? You know how the big one is kind of like the go-to boss? He is the boss right now. He's like, he's the boss, right? If you want, he's the strongest thing in the game. He's like the closest thing to a boss battle we have. Both of our miniguns are broken, by the way, now. So you're going to have to switch over to the shotguns. But we were able to bring them to, I think, pretty close to like 700-something damage. Our SWAT armor is right about halfway broken, which is pretty good. So hopefully the shotgun can do some damage pretty quickly to him. And uh, we don't die as quick. We might try not to go out of bounds as much with this, though. Just so we could kind of get, get our shots in and whatnot. But... I want to ask you guys, if they were to add another boss into Last Day on Earth, kind of like the big one, 
What would you like to see him be? Like maybe like the zombie buffalo from a week or two ago when I did the video on that. But uh, what would you like to see another boss potentially be? You know, I'm actually very curious about that. I want to hear what you guys might have to say, so. Okay, look at this. The full auto shotgun, baby. Okay, I panicked a little bit there, but look at that. That's another thing about the shotgun. You can turn that thing into like an AA-12. Fully automatic shotgun if you just move right after every shot and it lets you do a whole ton of damage super quickly. We just used up half of that freaking shotgun in like a couple of seconds. We just, we went straight through that. The VSS Venturas, I think, has a little bit of a slower fire rate, which kind of sucks, but we can still kind of do the same thing there. Kind of with the pistol, but the shotgun is, that's why the shotgun's absolutely amazing for this. And we're out of carrots here, but yeah, let me know in the comment section. What's like another boss you'd want to see and maybe how you'd want to see him be a thing. Like maybe at the end of the bunker, like the bottom floor, we'll have the next boss. Or like, you know, maybe Bunker Bravo will have the next boss. Like I want to hear what you guys think about that and where you would like to see a new boss. What you'd like to see as that boss. Let me know in the comment section. Looking forward to hearing it. And also keep in mind, if you do leave a comment... That brings you well onto the way of being answered in the $25 iTunes slash Play Store weekly giveaway. All you gotta do is make sure to like the video and make sure you are subscribed as well. And that will enter you into the weekly giveaway. Winners announced on Saturday. I'll pick a random Last Day on Earth video from the past week. So uh, up until last Saturday's video, you guys could comment and like on all those. And make sure you're subscribed and all of those will enter you into that jazz. And uh, yeah, it's my way of giving back to you guys for being absolutely freaking awesome. And... Just thank you. Thank you for being so awesome. And I, I, I seriously do appreciate it a ton. So we got some berries here. To hell with them, man. I'll, ta I'll take the berries for now. Maybe some baked beans too. But uh, we, we're going to have to chow down on these quite a little bit. But he wasn't even able to hurt us that much. And we still have quite a lot in terms of first aid kits. So let's see how this goes. Hopefully we can go through this shotgun. But your go-to is definitely going to be, if you're trying to take out the big one, is going to be running out of bounds whenever you're kind of in danger. But uh, yeah, go ahead and make sure to let me know. I'm always curious to hear about what you think about a potential new boss. And also, I'm curious to hear about uh, hopefully getting you guys some gift cards pretty soon. But look at that. Okay, we got a solid little volley in there. I, I feel like it starts out really good, and then my finger starts going to the right place, like the one to move, and like everything just messes up. It's a high pressure situation, you know? But uh, nonetheless, it's still going pretty good. We're still doing a good amount of damage. This one is about to break. So I might try to like, uh, I'm not gonna use it yet. I'm gonna go to the full durability one, just for, just for the time being here. And hopefully do that, but we're almost halfway with defeating him. Boss battle's going good. It's the second half, like, I, near the end is going to be the struggle because that's where medical supplies are going to be number one because our, our damage output is not going to be as good as it should be, you know? So, uh, hey, buddy. We almost got him. Come on, shoot that thing. I don't know what it is. It's like I tapped up. I feel like I'm tapping on the trigger or something wrong. It's just not, it's not, something's not right about it. Maybe, my, I think, I think my thumb's too sweaty, honestly. I think that's exactly what it is. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, well, that's a struggle. I'm sorry, dude. This is the highest pressure situation I've been in in last days. I've never had to fight the big one of all things. It's a sketch situation, my dude. It's a sketch situation. Oh, did I even forget to heal? I forgot to heal. All right, whatever. We'll use a med kit. Let's just try to get that damage in. Get a good volley. Okay, there we go. Good volley. Okay. Ran out of there before that got too bad. We already got him below 600. He's almost halfway. We've used up a couple of our shotguns. We're going to have to use up a couple more. Uh, those other two should do to, like another... We should be able to bring him down with just the shotguns. Down to like 250, I feel like. I think we should be able to bring him right around to 250. And then hopefully the VSS is here. We'll be able to put the finishing touches on him. Didn't I have another VSS? Oh, I did. I thought that was a shotgun for some reason. I'm going blind, man. Uh, let's chat on those berries, though. Yeah. But food is a really good way, and that's also a good way of making sure if you bring a ton of food here. Like I said, it's best if it's food in your inbox. So if you've opened any crates ever before, that's good. If you guys want to know how to open crates as well, uh, how to get some free ones potentially, link in the description about a free crate video I did a couple weeks back. A lot of people said it was helpful, so I like promoting it every once in a while. Letting you guys know and hopefully helping you guys out. And yeah, because that anything you get out of like crates and whatnot just stays in your inbox till you personally take it out. So it's kind of like a bit of a loophole that lets you have a really big inventory that you can just use whenever. You know, it seems weird, but when you think about it, it kind of makes sense. Okay, hopefully I can do this right here. Hopefully my finger isn't too sweaty. 
Okay, this is going good. Oh no, my weapon broke. Alright, we got dip. We got dip. So that's kind of the game plan, I think. I'll try to use the shotgun to the full ability, just run around a little bit. For some reason, it's like after that initial volley, the shotgun just gets really weird. It's weirded out. I don't know. It's, 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 it starts out super promising, and then it just goes no promise at all. Uh, but I'm going to just run out of bounds every once in a while. I think I'm going to try to keep running out of bounds until my weapon breaks. And we could just try to use the med kits. Because we have a lot of med kits. We've only used 10 med kits so far. And he's already below half health. And dude, I can't wait to get this Bunker Z card. Just so I could say I have it. <laughs> That's going to be freaking awesome, dude. I'm so excited we're finally doing this, but... This is the exciting part, dude. The struggle part is going to be when he's really close, because that's when our weapon supply is going to get really bad, but he's about to be... Okay, there we go. Man, we use that up. Perfect. This is going a little bit better here. Going to try to use up this entire shotgun. Heal up a little bit. If the game lags, I might cry. Ah! Okay. And look at that. We already got him around to 400, I think. So the next shotgun should get him down below 300. Okay. And then we got two VSS Venturas. Those should do about 120 total a pop. Because from what people said, the VSSs have like 60 uses total. They do two damage each. So it's going pretty good. So as long as we can keep on healing... Dude, this is looking really promising. Yeah, but the, the loot I was talking about... Oh, I can't... It, it only shows when you like travel to the location. But whenever you travel here, it says the loot has like three loot boxes out of three you know how like when you travel somewhere it tells you how good the loot might be that type of stuff it, it supposedly is really good loot so i'm i'm hoping i'm banking on that and another thing you could do is actually you do have a little bit of extra storage you could utilize in your chopper you can access it really quickly you do have to be a little bit cautious though there we go heal up you do have to be a little bit cautious though i'll tell you guys i'll finish my thought in a sec after this high Okay, there we go. It broke. Uh, you actually have a little bit of extra storage in your chopper. You have those three extra slots, and you can actually access it super quickly if you're quick enough. Well, we already brought him down to 280, dude. This is the home stretch, man. This is the home stretch. After yesterday not coming prepared enough, I'm happy. I think we came prepared enough today. We literally might have just barely enough stuff to take him out. So seriously, after yesterday's failure, I appreciate you guys helping out so much and making this possible. This is all thanks to you. Alright, so we're gonna try to use up these things a little bit. I don't- like, these things are definitely a bit more of a struggle than the shotguns. I'm- I'm a miss you shotguns. It was way better using you for this. If I had, like, two more shotguns, I think we would have been able to even take them out totally. I still have that broken shotgun. I'm just gonna leave that. I'm just leaving that, not even gonna worry about that, but okay. What I want to show you guys really quickly, right, is that you have those three slots in the chopper, and what you can do is you can access it super quickly. So I actually have some extra armor in there, which we might have to put on after this armor breaks, which actually might be very freaking soon. So I'm gonna take this opportunity to do that. What you can do is go here, you can grab these things before he comes, and then if you're worried about him coming, you could like run, but I'm not too worried. You can see we can kind of do the runny thing a little bit. Do a good amount of damage to him. Things are going millhouse. Heal up a little bit. And you can see. And the VSS is about to break. Okay, it broke. Ah! And we were able to get him down to almost 200 health. Whew. I think we'll have just enough. I think we might need to resort to the pistols a little bit, though. And that's when things get bad. Because our shotguns did three damage a pop. Miniguns did one damage, but that just had, like, a huge volley. Um, but pistols are only going to do one damage. Because for every 20 damage that a gun does, or even a weapon does, for every 20 damage, it'll do one damage to the big one. So if you do 19 damage, 19 doesn't matter. It doesn't round up. It rounds down. You have to do 20 damage, give or take. So let's get the next VSS, get a little bit more food. And honestly, I'm kind of interested in replacing our armor here to make sure we don't accidentally die. Because I don't want to lose all this progress, so I'm going to play it safe. I think I actually have a SWAT helmet I got. Yeah, I also got 30 more modified weapon crates. So if you guys want another unboxing sometime, I'll make it happen. Papa Star will make it happen. Don't worry. If that's something you want, let me know in the comment section. I wish I could give some of these things out of box to you guys. That's what I'm hoping when a multiplayer update comes. Let me know what you think of this as well. Like a way to give other people stuff. Because I would love to give you guys some of these guns. I'd love to give back to you in game as well. Like even when I do openings, I don't need all these guns. As awesome as it is, I don't need all of this. This is, this is a little bit overkill for just Papa Star. Like, Papa Star likes his guns, don't get me wrong. 
But I really wish I could give this back to you guys. So what would you guys think about, like, is that something you'd like to see in-game? Something maybe you think might be... I, I don't know. Let me know in the comment section. There's the SWAT helmet. Let me know in the comment. That could be your comment that you want to do for the giveaway as well. Uh, but I'm just, I'm just curious to hear. You know, because I'd love to have that be a thing. And if, if it was to be a thing, according to you, how would you want to see it implemented? Like, I could meet you at, like, oh, that'd be so cool if there was, like, a settlement. Like, a trader's settlement that we could go to. What do you guys think of that? That would be freaking awesome. If there was, like, a trader settlement we could meet up at. And we could even, like, sell some of our stuff to some AI sometimes. That'd be really awesome. I'd love that. Oh, no. Uh, come on. Get those shots in. Why are you struggling to shoot so much? Yeah, honestly, we might be able to do this without even... Like, we're, we're also, keep in mind, using more than we have to. Okay, heal up. We are using more than we have to. Because uh, what we can do is every time you're close to dying, you can just run out of bounds. Like, you don't have to heal in-game, you know? There we go. Let's heal up a little bit. The final stretch. He has exactly 100 health. One more full-quality VSS. And the big one will fall. But what would you guys think of that? Wouldn't that be so awesome if there was like a place out here on the map? Just like, I don't, I don't even know, like a random settlement that you could go to. Maybe you have to pay like an entrance fee to like the guards or something. Like of a, maybe of like a chopper gas tank or something. I don't know, like something, right? And like you could trade with other players there, sell stuff to AI. AI could sell stuff to players. Dude. I don't know, that seems really cool to me, but I always just like the thought of like giant settlements and like, uh, I love the thought of like make like things that feel lively. I don't know what it is, just anything that feels lively, I love it. Like, uh, okay, let's make sure we put a weapon in our hand here. But anything that feels lively, like whenever like, I, I remember some of the best parts was in Fallout 4, you remember when you could make your own settlement and stuff? I loved like having as many people as possible and just like walking through that settlement and being like, I made this and just being like, it feels so alive, it felt so cool. and. I don't know, dude. I just, I always love that feel. Where the hell are we? This is a, this is a new location. Don't tell me the big one regenerated all his health. Okay, you're goddamn right. I was about to be beyond salty. Oh my god, dude. I was about to be like the salty spittoon. Okay. You gotta go, my friend. Sorry. I don't want any random toxic spitters messing this up. 60 health. We're getting close. Heal up. Getting close. We might need one more gun after this. Why don't we try- we might- I might try to kill him with melee, honestly, just to be like, I am your- Oh god, that was a quick double hit he got in on us. Okay, let's run for a sec. He has six health. Guys, I think- I think you- I- he, We need to take him out by hand. Don't you agree? Or- Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, I know how we're taking him out. I know. I know. I know how we're taking him out. We're gonna do two more damage to him. Exactly two more damage. And also kill that stupid, annoying, toxic spitter. And, uh, then he's going out the way that all enemies of, of Star Snipe should, should go out. If you guys already know, I hope you're ready. This is gonna be the most intense one yet. This is gonna be the biggest shock value one yet. So we gotta hit him twice. Exactly twice. You gotta die. And then your big one friend. One, two, okay. Okay, boys! Oh, this is gonna feel good. I had to get that yawn out of the way because I, this is, I'm happy, I'm happy I had this left over a little bit. And the shotgun might not break totally. It might still have one use after this, but, uh, ahem. Big one, uh, have you met our lord and savior? No, you haven't. Okay, well, I want to introduce you. He's a really cool dude and I feel like you would get along a lot. Uh, my friend, the big one, say hello to my friend, Shotgun Rain! Yes! Death to the big one! Give me the Bunker Z card! We have triumphed! Da -da 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 -da! Oh my god, we finally did it. Okay, I'm just gonna use up the rest of our guns. I don't even care. I'm on- I'm on top of the world right now. Okay, never mind. I'll go back to the sledgehammer. But time for us to finally explore this man's this man's place and see if there's any I feel like I've seen loot boxes here. Maybe I'm crazy. I might be. I, I have sh I have a tendency of, uh, you know, potentially looking crazy. So I want to see if there's any loot boxes here that we might be able to get. I know there's going to be some of these guys that we have to deal with. That's OK. Yeah, what up, Toxic Abomination? You want some? Come get some. 
Yeah, you're nothing compared to what I just had to face. Oh no! Oh, got him right before he hit the ground, I think. We are a little bit smelly though. I, I should maybe think of a shower. Yeah, in terms of the loot here, I think the stuff here has a pretty good chance of getting us bauxite if we wanted to mine it for that. Home run to you. Well, that was, that was more of a bunt, not really a home run. What is that, a wolf? Now there was a wolf allowed here. I feel like I feel like the big one would have devoured you or something. But you, on the other hand, dude, I still love that. The bunk. Let's read it. Let's read the Bunker Z card. Common access card to top secret military bunker Zulu. And we got a chest here. I want to see what the loot is like. It's got to be. It's got to be solid, man. There's no way this is some generic doo-doo. This has to be top of the line stuff. Okay, generic doo-doo it is. I have mistaken myself. Uh, oh, I hear something. What the hell are you doing here? Get the hell out of here. Why? No. Why is there a survivor here? You have no business being here, my friend. I am sorry. You really don't. Oh, he does have an ATV wheel. I kind of need that. Goodbye to the half-broken boots. Hey, those things are broken for the most part. I'll, I'll take some, I'll take some sacrifices, you know? Is that another one? Okay, no, that's a toxic abomination, dude. That's so random. Like, what the hell is he doing here? Why is a random survivor running here? I feel like you'd know better than to go to the lair of the big one. I had to come here with, like, literally an armory in my backpack to even stand a chance. And, like, you're just running over here like, la-di-da-da, da-da-da-da. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll drop some of these things. I know some of you guys might be like, Star the Horror. Those things had like a couple of hits until they broke. And I got plenty of like better durability ones back at home. And like, honestly, at this point, the problem back at home is not... Oh, that thud is always so sad. The problem back at home is not even like the what, like how good our stuff is. It's just the problem of I'm running out of storage. So like, I don't 100%... What is that? These random barrels there? You guys seeing that? Like, I don't 100% mind, you know, sacrificing some of those lower, oh, lower quality ones. Oh, we toppled over like a bowling ball. I don't, you know, I don't mind sacrificing a couple of those uh, lower quality ones for, you know, other stuff. Because we have so many that, you know, oh god. Yeah, I need a shower now. Everyone's going to be coming after us. Oh no, another one. Smell of flesh. The big one's feasting. Dude, if another big one comes, I might cry. <laughs> That'd be awful. Oh, what up? Call me Mike Tyson. Take you out. We do have a little bit of room now, too. Another chest for us to check out. If another one big one popped in, I would seriously cry. That would be bad. I feel like this place should have better loot. What do you guys think? I really feel like the stuff... Okay, we got a wrench. I'm happy. A wrench. That is what we need for the gun bench. Um, What do we drop here? Yeah, screw those. Screw the tin cans, man. I don't need those. No, no, I don't need those either. I need those. Yeah, give me some of those rubber parts. Those will come in handy. Dude, I really feel like the loot here should be better, though. Oh, mama, we got two big guys coming after us at a time, eh? Well, that this could lead to some troubles. But luckily, we are powerful. Woo! Yeah, harm your friend, you dingus. Woo! Yeah, oh! Did you see that? He just got taken out by his best friend. How's that feel? Oh, I just... How the hell did I decapitate all of him in, like, one slice? That's kind of amazing. I really feel like the stuff here should be better, though. Some of the loot definitely feels more lackluster than it- Like, we, we had to defeat the big one to get- Well, I mean, I guess you could technically- I don't care. Oh, no. I will fist- I challenge you to fist the cuffs! I, I like how they dive forwards when I knock them out. Yeah, dude. What the hell, though? I feel like the loot here should be better than what it is. Although, I do understand that maybe people could exploit that and just kind of kite the big one. You know, just run in. With an empty inventory, try to take everything from whatever boxes there are. Oh boy, I was not ready for this. Okay. Um, give me a sec, Wolf. Chill out. Chill out, buddy. I'll get to you. Okay, I know he needs your attention. I'll give you your attention. Just chill out for a sec, all right? Another one? Why is there a random pack of rabid wolves in the middle of the big one? Did he have pets? Are you guys his pets? Okay, and here I think is the last box. Although there is one more box right there that we can check out after that, though. I think that that will... Ooh. Not even that bad. I mean, there's okay stuff here, like not top of the line, but good amount of stuff. And I feel like the map is pretty big too. I don't know if that's just me. We can get some of that. That's a lot of nuts. Oh, that's a lot of nuts. All right, I'll use that one band-aid. It's one band-aid, man. It's not a big deal. And that's a dead guy we've knocked out before. I think we right about have looted this whole place. Looks like you get four loot boxes out of it. 
And the big one, I still love the fact that we finally took him out. Where did he die, by the way? I kind of want to be by his body. Like, uh, hey -oh. oh, is that is that me smelling or him? I believe that is me that looks so smelly. All right, well, I'm just going to hold our savior shotgun rain right next to him here. As should be. Stand by our trophy. The fallen big one. Oh, does that feel good? Look at him. Oh, I'm barefoot too. I'm a damn hippie taking him out. Hello, big one. How does it feel to fall flat on your face? Good? No, it probably does not feel good. With that, we need to go, and I need to go put this Bunker Zulu card away. I refuse to even give this card a chance of being lost. After everything we did, I refuse. I really feel like, what, what do you guys think, man? I feel like he should drop something more than the Bunker Zulu card. Like, it doesn't even necessarily have to be a weapon. Maybe like a couple chopper parts, you know? Maybe like a couple ATV parts. Maybe he should drop the ATV transmission. Actually, no, because that means I have to go and kill him again, and I really don't have enough stuff to do that. <laughs> I really do not have enough stuff to do that. I really hope that's not what happens in 1.6, because if so, I might cry since we just killed him uh, today. So that would be no bueno. No, 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 no bueno. That would be really bad, but no, I feel like ATV transmission might come in... Uh, I don't think it'd come from him. It wouldn't make sense for him to carry that. But it, I don't know. I feel like he should drop something else, you know? Just a little something. It doesn't even have to be huge. It doesn't have to be like, Oh, a, a golden diamond encrusted of gold trimmed with sapphires and ruby trophy. Like, I'm, I ain't talking something like that, okay? I just mean like, you know, a little something something. You know, just a little... Oh, that drive though. I'll, driving is way faster than running too. I really like that. You know what I wish could happen too? If you kill the big one... Maybe it gives your break, or maybe it gives your base, like, a one, or, like, a couple day break. Okay, I'd be cool with that, actually. I wouldn't even need more loot from the big one, but if killing him would mean that, like, maybe I'd stop being attacked for, like, a week or something, I would do that probably every week. So, I don't have to worry about my damned base being ravaged by these damned zombies every single day. But it ain't that big of a deal. Oh, speaking of that, we should be able to is actually finish off this video with uh, the finishing touches on my base that I've been talking about. So we almost have enough wheels for this. Um, and we should be able to toss a couple of these things away into our huge stores. But hold on. Uh, right now, I need, to, I need a super... You know what I could do? I could make like a central room. I could do that for like the super important loot. Like a central... Like another layer of stone walls right here on the interior and that's where i put the best of the best loot i could do that but right now what i want to do is a bunker zulu card you belong here you belong there buddy oh it feels good whenever bunker zulu comes out we're ready we're ready because we took down the big one we took down the guardian of it and now we have reaped the rewards and the rewards are pretty Frickin' show wheat. And where are those wrenches? I know I store wrenches here somewhere. We could put a couple of these rubber parts away. I'm just trying to free up a couple a couple slots, but also I'm really trying to put the wrench where it belongs. Because, uh, yeah, where the hell is the wrench going? What? What? Oh, do I keep it in here? I do keep it in here. We're up to 10. Halfway to the workbench. It's, it's going to take a little bit, but we ought to do it. And we, we only used up, like, 21 first aid kits, so... If you're kind of conservative, if you have enough guns, let's say, or if you have enough other healing food, like, you could realistically get away with maybe just a stack, or even less, when it comes to taking out our buddy, our buddy boy, the big one. But today is also the day where we can finally put on these finishing touches that we've been waiting oh so long to do. I've made just enough supplies since yesterday, and we can say, without a doubt, that this place is officially raid proof raid proof i missed that was really anticlimactic feels good man this has been an action-packed episode we took out the final boss of last day on earth so hopefully some news comes out and there's some more stuff we can do hopefully 1.6 comes out tomorrow because we have done almost everything that there is to do in last day on earth so far if there's anything we have not done yet Please, please, please let me know in that comment section because if there's something we haven't done, I want to do it. I want to be like the 100%er, okay? I want a 100% last day on earth if that's even possible. 
But right now, like, I guess the one thing we haven't done is finish our workbench. That's just gonna take some wrenches, and wrenches are just annoying to get. Like, we could get them out of bunker loot, I think, if we're lucky, but wrenches are definitely annoying to get. So, uh, maybe we'll do a bunker run for wrenches or something. I don't know what I'll do, but for now, all I know is that I'm gonna celebrate, bask in our victory and glory, and I hope you guys bask as well, because that was no small accomplishment. We freaking did it, man. And other than that, that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for me for now. I wish you guys nothing but the most fan freaking fantastic day in the world. If it's not fan freaking fantastic, I hope either this video could have made it more fan freaking fantastic or something else going on in life makes it more fan freaking fantastic. I just want that fan freaking fantasticness to spread. You know what I mean? You're in a main. So uh, if that doesn't happen though, I hope maybe tomorrow sets you down that path of fan freaking fantasticness. And uh, I guess we'll have to see, won't we? And hopefully tomorrow sets us down the path of 1.6! I'm sick of waiting, dude. It's been like three weeks. I feel like I'm in withdrawal. I need updates, man. I'm in update withdrawal. <laughs> That's gonna wrap it up for me. Thank you guys all the time for watching. Have a freaking awesome one. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.